Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace and we're going to be breaking some bad habits. Today I have 10 bad habits for you to try to break in 2019. I made a video just like this last year and now I am back with a whole new 10 bad habits and I'm making it sound like we're all really awful people but I just wanted to give you a little bit of food for thought and potentially set you on a good path for next year. So some of these are personal, others are just a little bit more general but let's go ahead and get started. The first one is definitely personal and that is excessive caffeine and I see people all the time that are like, oh my God, I need to have coffee. And I was one of those people and it is so bad for you. I stopped drinking coffee this year. And the reason why is because caffeine completely messed up my system that if I had a cup of coffee, it would put me to sleep. And I mean, to deep sleep. If it were nine o'clock in the morning and I had a cup of coffee, I would be asleep for the next three or four hours, which is so, so wrong. So I had to give up coffee in May this year. And for two and a half months, yes, two and a half months, I was detoxing. I was moody. I was having terrible sleep. I was exhausted all the time. I couldn't wake up in the morning and it completely affected my mood. I ended up in quite a depressive state in the middle of this year. Other reasons contributed to that, but one of the main factors was detoxing from caffeine. After two and a half months though, everything started to feel good again. I had more energy. I was happier. I was sleeping better and things were feeling really good. And then after about three and a half months, I had my first cup of coffee. I was in Italy and I was like, I'm in Italy. I have to have coffee here. I was terrified of that I would actually end up asleep, but I was fine. And now I limit myself to one coffee a day. I need to be awake for half an hour to an hour every morning before I have a coffee. I need to let my body naturally wake up. And then if I have any other coffees after that one, it must be decaf. So those are my new rules. And honestly, I have not felt this good in years. If you are struggling with energy levels or mood swings or caffeine related issues, then I would recommend doing a detox. I know it's gonna be tough, but it is so worth it once you're through that period. The second bad habit is ignoring your health. And in 2018, one of my goals was to pay more attention to my health. And I'm so glad that I did. And I have to ask you the question, when was the last time you went and had a doctor's checkup? Or when you went to the dentist or were paying attention to the food that you are consuming and its nutritional value and paying attention to the activities that you were doing and the effects that they have on your body. Because we only have one body, we have one shot at this and we might as well do the best we can to set ourselves up for a long and healthy life. Number three is entirely another personal one, and that is a bad habit of buying a new phone. Essentially, a phone is just a tiny device that we use to communicate with each other. It doesn't need to be fancy with all the features and stuff. And honestly, the phones that are now being released are not worth the 2000 odd dollars that we are spending every two years for them. I currently have an iPhone 7 Plus, and there are two things wrong with it, but these are two things that I can pay to get fixed now, and I will not be upgrading my my phone. I think I'm done upgrading. I still have all of my previous phones and there is nothing wrong with them and I just cannot justify buying a phone at the price that they are these days. It's ridiculous. So I need to get a new battery. It's $60 for a new battery. Dan got a new battery for his iPhone 6 last week and it was like he walked out of the Apple store with a brand new phone. His battery lasts for more than a day without being charged and I'm going to do the same for mine. I unfortunately also have a broken screen as of about four days ago, and that is $250 to fix. However, if I spend just over $300 right now and basically get a brand new phone, then I don't have to sign on to another contract for another two years for like $2,000. If you actually repair the phone that you've got, you will save so much money in the long run. And do you know what? It's so much better for the environment than having all of these spare wasted phones that don't actually have that much wrong with them. The fourth bad habit is seeking offense in things that are not even offensive. Uh, this one is starting to drive me insane. Some personal preferences, that can be offensive, but for the most part, a personal preference is not offensive. The only time that that personal preference becomes offensive, when a person is projecting their preference in a forceful and negative manner, they're belittling your preferences and placing theirs above yours. That is offensive. But if I say that I like pasta over pizza, not offensive. If I say pasta is better than pizza and pizza is for losers 
and anyone that eats pizza is a loser, then yes, that's offensive. If someone chooses to have a bodybuilder's physique, they are in no way saying that every other body shape and size is wrong. If someone chooses to have a PhD degree, they're not invalidating every other level of a degree. And from the opposite side as well, if someone chooses to not have a degree, they're not invalidating anyone who does have a degree. If someone is on a weight loss journey, that journey should not be offensive because it is a personal preference. So we really need to take a step back and look at what is offensive and what isn't offensive and start making better decisions with our energy. The fifth bad habit kind of follows on from that and that is following bad influences and influencers. Why do we stick around following people that give us a negative vibe or make us feel bad about ourselves? It is as simple as pressing unfollow, unsubscribe. I recently went through and did a big unfollow on Instagram, but here's the deal. Not everyone's morals and values align and just because they're Instagrammers or YouTubers doesn't mean we have to be friends because we might not share the same fundamental core values and ideals that would make us friends in the first place. And it is about surrounding yourself with people who are a positive influence and people that you connect with. And with saying that, if one day you decide that our values and morals no longer align, then please unsubscribe from me. I don't want to be making you feel bad. I don't want to be making anyone feel bad. So please do what you have to do to create a healthy and safe online environment. The sixth bad habit is living with no purpose, goal or intention. I think it is very important to be more self-aware of where you're heading in life and what you're putting your energy and your effort into. If you're just floating along in life, one day you'll wake up and you will have missed everything. So be present, be more aware and give yourself some goals. Plan out your life. It will make you experience everything to the absolute fullest when you do. Bad habit number seven is being mean to yourself and speaking negatively to yourself. And I did mention this a couple of months ago when I said one of my goals for the rest of the year was to start being kinder to myself because I got to a really bad place where I was always telling myself how awful I was. And now I feel like I've changed that a little bit. I'm a lot nicer to myself. I'm my own little cheer squad, especially when I'm working out. I'm like, you can do this, you got this. And it pushes me to go further and harder and to come back each day and want to work out. And I keep telling myself that I'm amazing because I am amazing and you're amazing. And you should be telling yourself that. And trust me, once you start to tell yourself that you are amazing and that you've got this, you will honestly believe it and you will watch your confidence skyrocket. Bad habit, which I think is my favorite, is having a lack of knowledge and a lack of understanding of things. It honestly amazes me how many people get so fired up of their opinions and their thoughts when they actually haven't spent any time researching any other point of view or any other information about a topic. I think it is so important to expand our knowledge and educate ourselves. And there's a lot of things that I don't have opinions on because I actually disagree and agree with so many different points of views that I can't just pick one. I find it really empowering to have a lot of knowledge from different points of views and different angles and understand the way that people work. I think it can really help you progress in life. It'll help you build better relationships with people and as they say knowledge is power so expand your knowledge on politics or current world events or how things work or belief systems there are so much more out there than what you know and I think it is so important to open yourself up to it those are the bad habits to give you an idea of some of the things that you could possibly work on in 2019 really hope you guys have enjoyed this video as I said before this video is sponsored by Squarespace Squarespace is an online platform where you can create beautiful websites they have a great selection of awards winning templates, making it so easy for you to put together a website. Everything is really easy as well. You don't have to install, upgrade or patch anything. It is all there for you, which makes it very user friendly. They also have a 24 seven support team. If you need any help with anything, if you go to squarespace.com slash Rachel A, you can get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. So that's my 2019 bad habits video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it up the top here. You can check out my last video down the bottom. I'll leave a link to another video and I'll see you guys in the next one.